Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. John 8, 12. You know the deal. Jesus is the light of the world. Uh, today is, um, I guess you could say, Halloween Eve of 2024, October 30th. Um, I was, there's supposed to be a new site up. It's called uh, F, and then you take a T, and then you take a J. Uh, so it's F the J's. Uh, I was thinking about starting a channel on there. It's supposed to be a new site. I don't know much about it. But supposedly, you could put up all the stuff that would get you banned everywhere else. I remember there was a book called the Jays and Their Lies by Martin Luther. And he wrote this about, oh, I don't know, about 500 years ago, give or take 50 years here, here or there. He was the uh, one of the first ones that took the Bible from Hebrew and Greek and wrote a Bible into German. And he, he could read their writings. And he became convinced of the satanic line of the devils, I guess you could say. Well, he wrote a little book and... I read this book, oh, I don't know, over 30 years ago. Now, I remember it was starting to become common knowledge. Well, originally, the Lutheran Church, you know, founded, they consider themselves, Luther was the founder. First, they denied that the book even existed. But then when it became so much proof that no, it do, that book does exist. Well, they repudiated it. Well, we're Lutherans, but we really don't believe what he believed on that subject. Hmm. Okay. I mean, because this book was in the Library of Congress. I mean, really? Not only that, it was in the Lutheran uh, libraries, too. So, you know, they, they try to deny it even existed, but that didn't work. Oh, but what's interesting is when I went to um, a certain group that he was speaking about to their libraries, that book was strongly condemned. So here it is. You got one group saying the book doesn't exist. But then the, the group that he was talking about not only admitted the book existed, but that Luther was evil for condemning them for their rejection of Jesus, who is the Christ. So, you know, it's pretty hard to... I mean, I knew it existed, but, you know, they tried to make it out that it didn't. But the book does. It's not a big, big book. And this was written, uh, translated into English um, before we even had zip codes. Let me look into that. All right. Uh, zip codes. Zip stands for Zone Improvement Plan by the post office. So they know which uh, address goes to which post office. And when you use the zip plus four, I mean, it actually shows you what block uh, it you know, the mail goes to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the five-digit zip code, the United States adopted it in 1963. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because the original booklet, as it was translated into English and started being distributed among Christian patriotic groups, does not even have a zip code for the Christian group 
who printed this book. I just had a post office number at in this city. So it was printed before 1963, obviously. So this book is not new, but it's it's a reprint. Now there's another book too uh, called the it's the uh, the number that comes after one. You know, when you're counting numbers, you, you number one is first, and then you got the second one. The second, yeah. Um, the next one after one, seed lines of the book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 15, about what really happened in the Garden of Eden. And uh, if you read the parable of the wheat and the tares, said the enemy that sowed the tares or the weeds was the devil. There's another book by that. And uh, most so-called churches will not touch this with a 10-foot theological pole. And that would be another good reading. That booklet is, I think, about 30 to 50 pages long. I have it. Matter of fact, every one of you that has gotten the uh, USB or SD card from me has these two books on the drive. But I was thinking about narrating them and putting them on this new site for as long as this site will be up. I, listen, I am, I have spent so much time adding videos to different websites only for the channels to be deleted. Uh, Bright Eon. I spent probably two and a half to three months loading hundreds, I mean, probably six, seven, eight hundred videos on that stinking site, Mike Adams and his natural news. And I actually got a thing from them saying I had one of the most visited websites on their channel. One day, it was gone. They deleted my entire site. No warning, nothing. World Truth Video. Um, no fault of theirs, but they were taken down, I think, by the German government. I'm not sure. Um, but I spent months putting videos on there. You know, it doesn't take just one minute to load a video. You know, when you got a video that's, uh, oh, I don't know, an hour long, it could take 10 minutes to load one video. Times that times, oh, I don't know, a thousand. I mean, really, it's it's very time consuming. You know, you got to give it a title. You got to give it a an image. You got to write a description. You got keywords. I mean, it takes time. And, it, you know, I spent months loading all these and then they get one day it's gone. You know, it's frustrating. And I'm at the point where I don't want to do it anymore. Honestly. Or they hide it. You know, bit shoot. Uh, I spent months loading all these videos on them. I was even a silver supporter paying them to uh, host my videos. I didn't expect them to do it for free. I was paying every month. And I noticed that a certain topic of my videos, you could see the video, you'd click on it, and it would just hang. It wouldn't play. There was no audio. So I said, you know what? I'm not paying for this anymore. Some videos just got deleted. You know, so sometimes I had to reload the same video three, four, five times. And uh, it, it gets old. You know, I'm at the point I 
I don't even want to do this anymore. I really don't. I'm tired of playing their game, but, you know, some people uh, witnessed to me and put up with me. And, you know, if I could help some other people, I'm willing to do it. But I don't know. Yeah, I've even had people saying I'm controlled opposition. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, part of the Jesuit conspiracy, putting the blame on a different group other than the Jesuits. Well, sorry, it wasn't the Jesuits that killed Jesus. They didn't even exist. And uh, yeah, you know, people don't even know. There's a the Noahide laws, N-O-A-H-I-D-E. Uh, penalty for believing in Jesus as God in the flesh is beheading, death. And I think it's Revelation chapter 20 talks about those that were beheaded for their witness of Christ. But I think one of the biggest deceptions of all time, one of Satan's masterpiece, is the pre trib rapture. I, I got to give him, really give him credit for that one. Uh, there's not one clear verse that says the resurrection ha of believers happens before the tribulation. Not one. But they got this huge theological pretzel that they can contort to come up with it so that all these churchgoers think that they'll never have to suffer for Christ like the people in the book of Acts did. Stephen and Paul and I, I think James, I, uh, you know, 10 of the 12 apostles died for their faith. I mean, really? So I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Martin Luther's book, uh, the uh, Seed Lines book, should I do it? Should I go do that stuff? I don't know. I tell you what, um, some of the old writings are really worth reading. Uh, there was a guy named Justin Martyr. Yeah, that's where they got the word martyr from, because he died for the faith. And then there's a guy called uh, Irenaeus. I've heard it called Irenaeus, Irenaeus. Uh, one of those two people was on the Isle of Patmos with St. John when he wrote the book of Revelation. And then the other one learned from the other one. So you had St. John and either Justin Martyr or Irenaeus was with John. And then the other one was with the other one after John. I forget which one came first and which one was second. But that is close to first century Christianity. Those, those writings are worth reading. They really are. They're better than anything that I've read in the last, written in the last hundred years. So, I don't know. But, of course, what's better than reading your Bible? Nothing that I know of. But, uh, you know, these are like topical studies. So, I don't know what to tell you, but this is my, um, I'm thinking. So, I don't know. I, I can't put them on this channel, that's for sure. And uh, BitChute is not... Uh, it's not loading any more of my, my videos right now. I don't know what's going on. I've about, I've about given up. The noose is uh, tightening, people. You know, I would get some Bibles, put them away. Get your spiritual house in order. Get some things you'll need for the future. You know? Uh, you could either... Get yourself a case of beer, or you can get yourself a, a good uh, K-Bar knife. Or or a 12-pack of Heineken, or a fire starter. Fire steel. So you can start a fire in freezing weather. So, got an entire playlist on survival stuff. I put it up. All right, well, that's about it. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in, you know, Jesus' name. Let me know what you think. Uh, 
Justin Martyr, his writings, Irenaeus. I think it's I-R-E-A-N-U-S, something like that. Hold on, I'll look it up. All right, here you go. I-R-E-N-A-E-U-S. Uh, a Greek bishop in the church. Uh, okay, he was around, he was born 130 A.D., so I guess it was Justin Martyr that was with um, uh, St. John. So, oh, and Polycarp. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. Irenaeus, Polycarp, and Justin Martyr. Those, their writings are excellent, really excellent. It's been a long time since I've read those things. So, um, all right. Uh, take care and tell me what you think. Uh, Martin Luther and the uh, Sea Lines book. Should I do them and put them on a different channel? What do you think? What do you think? All right. Take care. Thank you. Glory to Jesus.